Where's Boca, man? Okay, man, it's all you. Huh? Come tomorrow. He's cool. He invited people to come talk to him. So. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, Sunday. Come. Yes, what time is going to be here? Uh, same here. Time. Uh, give us exact time so we can be here. So come Sunday. like 2 o'clock. Are these free? Everything is free. Go ahead. Take whatever you want. And your name? David. Yep. And your Sam. name? Sam. Sam. So I said I will meet Sikusman tonight. Sure, I'll tell him David yeah. and Sam wants to. Yeah, don't be late to be here at 2, he's, he's going to be here. Yeah, we're going to be here. Yeah, Make sure you guys are here too. Last week, was, last week or two weeks ago, you made a promise you were waiting for you. Then no, you know. actually, I have the video. Don't let me play it. I didn't give a date. Uh -huh. So you know it's a sin to lie. But we will be here tomorrow. Okay. You are now about to witness the strength of the gospel. Yeah, it's gotta be 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah. I gotta invite you for tea, man. That's cool. Alright, yeah, you too, Alex. Thank you. You gotta even it out. I'll even it out. Alright, so. God? Oh, it's nice. I got on the Prado and stuff. Is that me after anything? No, you have something to do with it. You always put that on the Prado. Why does it do this? It doesn't matter what you do. You can't do it on the Prado. You gotta move it off the Prado. You can put it in the on that side, yeah, if you're talking about the mountain, you can't be on this side. That's why nobody's here. Yeah, you look up this way, you look down that way. Everybody's on the other side. Okay, I would appreciate that. Thank you. How you doing? I think you're going to Give me information about his map. If I was the one on the camera, I'd love to talk to you. If they came out the camera, I'll talk to you. I gotta be a, I gotta be a servant right now. I know, but I gotta be a servant right now. I play, I play my role. Fifty subjects you change, right? Uh, and then record no, this uh, vocab because I want I'm to explain the victim over. I'm telling you, okay. proof to me. What was the debate about? Do you believe in killing babies? Uh, well, according to your Quran, you're allowed. Do, do you believe in killing babies? Well, you're God. Well, prove it to me. Show me. Okay. Show me. Let me show you. In the Bible, it says you could kill. How many topics babies. did he change? And, 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 How many and topics did he change? And who's the coward here? Four. Okay. Yeah, because you're jumping. Okay, no, I didn't. Did yeah, I jump? Jumping. Did I open up counts? Uh, no, you're jumping. Yet? Record this because we're going to make him famous. I wanted to because you keep talking. We're going to have to. Okay, okay, enjoy. Okay. enjoy no, 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 don't, Listen, run, don't No, you don't want to talk. Don't you don't want to talk. For the don't run. Okay. Okay, here you go. Chapter 2. Listen. I, did I even read his verse and he's got oh, read it. Are you noticing it, right? Okay, chapter 2. This is 46. Okay, I want you to read to me. Here you go. Aha. Now he's going to say context. So I want you to prove the context for me. Here you go. Here you go. Have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after I Moses? thought it's only one discussion. Why it's a discussion on the side? they're talking already. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's the benefit. You want to right? join? Let's go join. Yes, no, because your, your actor there is saying three. He's trying to play for the How camera. about a little respect? How about a little respect? Doesn't your Bible tell you to respect people? Yes, it does. Why are you talking about it? Uh, because was he respecting them? We got to record it. When yeah, he was insulting yeah, them? Of course. Was no, he respecting not, them no, when he was saying I didn't, I didn't hear any insult. Anyway, of anyway, course anyway, you didn't. Anyway, hear him. anyway. I want to hear anyway. the verse. I want to hear anyway. the verse. Yeah, they won't let you quote anything. You notice that, right? They don't let you quote anything from the Quran. They're having a good conversation. Nothing. They're having a good conversation. I want to hear the verse. brother make a well clean Okay. Well, have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after the time of Moses when they said to a prophet of theirs, send us to a king? Uh, do not suppose fight. that I have come to bring peace to earth. I did not come Wait, to bring peace but a sword. See, they, they, because they're cowards. The Luke no, 19, no, 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 let me read, read Luke 19, yeah, so 11, 27. This, read is, the, this is the verse I'm reading. Explain it to me. What, 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 no, what? Explain it to me. Give me the Bible so I can school Explain them on the Bible and the Quran. Please, school Why'd you just do that? You said respect. No, he's not. Because they're victims. The narcissist is victims. Absolutely. But what's your reason? My reason is that there's one discussion. There's no need to make two discussions, make a scene. Says who? Yeah, I'm... Says who? That's what they agree on. You want us to do with the verse? Really? You guys going to keep changing? That's what they agree on. Where's that written? It's, it, that, it's, where's that written? Where's that written? Where's that written? It's between there. It's okay. between there. Now read to him what he yeah. quoted out context, but I'm going to show him what his Quran says. But go to Luke 19, 11 to 27. He quoted 27. Perfect. Read 11 to 27. Perfect. Read it for me. Uh, it's always the guy yeah. who comes over talking about and respect. It's most disrespectful. You notice that? Uh, uh, disrespectful. Yeah, you immediately just started over talking. Okay, can we now finish the verse? No problem. No problem. Can we no problem. No problem. The he was answering you. You were about to get it. Uh, like I was about to get it? Yeah, he was answering you. 
So here's the thing. And you got saved by this I, guy. I, I read, I read some different verses, like different Can numbers. You, read Can, you see, you change the subject again. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to read the book. Okay, here. Sure. Continue where you want. You see you how want, many choppings changed? Go ahead. Go Don't ahead. let Mr. Ahead, Respect throw you off. Because he didn't. You ask him, he didn't. That's hey, why I'm waiting. No, because you keep talking. There's four people. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. That's funny. Four people, it might break off the little subsection. Yeah. If we had all day tomorrow, the next day. No, but so my friend, did you hear what he said? Be honest with you. Did you not hear what he said? Of course not. He said, oh, three of you, you know, making fun in front of the camera. Three of us, right? So uh -huh. I'm pulling away. So, 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 wait, so wait for him to finish. Can you not okay, answer? But when he said three of you, no, said, because he's trying to play for the camera. So now I'm That's pulling away, so won't be three of us. you guys can answer, we can talk to you as well. Because the one you came to debate him, right? No, that's not what we came. Why are you telling us why we came? I don't know. You came to talk to Muslims. You said it in the, you said Muhammadan. You said you're going to take on Muhammadan. He said it on his Twitter. He said it on his Twitter. Or his Facebook. I came to talk to Muslims. When you are, let's go there. Let's go debate them. Now, here's what's interesting. If we weren't here, all of you would be out trying to talk to everyone both past No, I don't I don't talk to anybody. I just saw numerous people say let's talk about religion here. Say, no, you're giving pamphlets out. It's not talking. Yes, and let's talk about Islam. This is Okay, buddy. So here's the thing. Now all of a sudden you want to control it and have everything over there. If you no, don't, I'm if saying, you're not you interested, came, then go, that's cool. Hey, bro, for the sake of time, lower your voice so we can have I speak a, loud, so he speaks a loud. Talk talk discussion. No, you don't. You've so got to have a fruitful discussion. Have we finished right. we'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll talk to you. People are from different counties, states, and counties. And if we're not, why are you finished? We can talk to you. Do you believe in Trinity? Evan. Evan. I'm asking you guys. Do you believe in Trinity? They're going to distract you. That's what they do. That's the tactic. So we have a new issue. Yeah, that's right. There's one guy. So there's one guy? Okay, so now you change the subject, huh? is, the, right. is the father God? <laughs> There's going to be the father of God. The father of God. If you so, so three God, not one. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you said you said there's one guy. Yes, there's so one the father God. God. Is the father God? Will you answer? No, no, the father God. You said he's gonna recite oh, yes. the verse. The father is God. Yes. How many minutes did this guy cut me up okay, before you recited God. the verse? It's oh, on camera. Okay. What's your name? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. What's your name? On camera. You don't need my name. Why? 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 Are you afraid? What? Fear of Allah. Don't fear man. Okay. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. What's your name? I'm terrified. What's your name? I'm not going to give you my name. Right, okay. But anyway. My name is Muhammad. That's what oh, you need to know. You're not lying. Okay, go ahead. Muhammad, that's my name. Muhammad. Are you lying? Of course not. Okay, then you don't lie. So you don't lie. Then you're telling the truth, okay? You don't lie. Open up chapter 3, verse 15. Can you read the Quran? What about the verse that I asked you about? Do you want to say it? Recite it? Can we read it? I'm waiting. You're waiting. Okay, can you read the Quran? Yeah, listen. Read the verse. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we even got here, I still have Luke 19 11. I'm happy to read yeah, it. Yeah, do we even wait 10 minutes? Can you read it? Yeah, but like, can we read it now? Before, that, before the rapture? Trying to read from the Quran. Yeah, sure, sure. So, what are we changing? Do we want to read Luke 19 11? Or do we want to read from the Quran? No, I asked you a question, though. Can you answer my question? Okay, first? No, I was okay, answering you your question. Go ahead, answer, answer. Question answer. Yours. Which one? You decide now. Uh, what do you want to decide? Because he's reading talking. for me, he's asking him a question. Because he, everybody's Luke 19, 11, 27. Everybody's stuck. Luke 19, 11. Do you have your own brain? Look, see? Of they don't have stop. Have yeah, why are you insulting him? Because why are you insulting him? See, you're talking about this. We're running away. Is the Quran created? Is the Makhluk? Look, look, he's running away. He's running. He's not going to answer. He's running. He's showing you. Hands, hands, hands. He's showing you you can play the same game as what he's doing. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're passionate. We love, but you know, you guys. Don't be afraid. Come on. I hug you. I hug. It's okay. Social distance. We believe in the power of God. He does CDC. I believe in CDC. CDC guidelines. Well, Sam, you speak Whatever. Arabic. Is the truth? You speak Arabic. Arabic. CDC doesn't say anything. Can we? Social distance. Social distance. You're not six feet. I'm here. You're coming to me. You went to him. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, but they didn't teach me Arabic, they thought yeah. we are sure. Wallah, wallah, may Allah guide you Islam. Well, if it's true, he will guide you. And if there's no cameras, I feel our conversation will be more sincere. No, I didn't want... But they the camera came to affects the camera. I was talking to the side. Actually, they came. I didn't tell them to come. Did I tell you guys to come? Did you really take the camera I, away? And, wait, and I actually yeah, came, came before with huh? the camera. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, 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 right. not you, not you. I mean the camera. The camera came. No,
that was fun. What's up, George? So, I don't even know why I'm the cameraman. Yeah, but before you came, it was like... You're trying to hit everybody up, right? No, but they, they were jumping through so many topics. And like right when you came, the topic randomly became the Council of Nicaea. Mm -hmm. And Sam said, you don't even know what the Council of Nicaea was about. So the guy right. looked it up. So we looked it up on the phone, yeah. and that's when you came. Right. And then suddenly the topic, I'm talking about how the topic was changed. Yeah, 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 no worries. You know, so, and suddenly the topic wasn't the Council of Nicaea, and it looked like Sam was trying to read from the Quran, and this is what, this is what I was trying to tell you what I, what I wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, a yeah, person yeah. who isn't as yeah, learned that's fair, that's fair. on Islamic doctrine, yeah. tradition, etc. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I wanted to hear. So yeah. then when, the, when I saw um, you asked Sam a question, and he put out the Quran he was trying to read, he was never able to finish reading it. I was inter I was I was interested yeah. in hearing what he was going to read sure, sure, and how you sure, would sure. respond to that. And we yeah. never got to that. Yeah, and then yeah, suddenly yeah. Luke 19 came up yeah. and Sam asked me to read that. And then for some reason I was never able to read to, that. To either. be honest, I, what's your name, brother? My name is Vader. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Vader, right? Yeah. Vader. So I never heard that name before. Yeah, it means famous ruler. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Man. He ain't famous. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy though. The, the thing is, Vader, what happened was with me and Sam, we talked earlier. And then when Sam he brought up a verse in the Quran, right. and I explained it, and then he jumped to another verse, and then another verse, and then right. he asked about the Bible. Right, so and then, I, that, so, and then so that's what, when I walked so, up. So yeah, right. so then what, what, what it felt like in that discussion was it wasn't like going anywhere, and it was just like, okay, I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to jump in. So it kind of, that was the atmosphere. Right. It, wasn't, it didn't feel really like genuinely sincere, you know? I got you. But I can tell you're a sincere person, no, honestly. No, I, Forgive I, me I if, I, if, I, if I said that earlier to you. I didn't mean to it's make like, you I, feel... I, I, I got yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah, made yeah. me feel no kind of way. Okay, I feel like appreciate it. Now, what I will say, though, yeah, 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 that because you, you expressed those concerns to Sam, and you can take this with a grain of salt or however you want. No, that's true. But when you express those concerns with Sam, he did say, explain verse 11, um, verse 91. Now, I don't know what that means. Sure, I don't know what up. verse 91 is. Up. Wait, I don't even know what it is. But okay, my point okay. is, when you said... We can pull it up though, wait, if you like. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But my point is, when you said, you jumping from all of these different verses, and I don't know which ones, you know, to respond to. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, you're yeah. not letting me finish. No, I'm listening, I'm listening. He said, okay, well, explain verse 91. Yeah. And, and then that proceeded to not get explained you know so for me a person who's trying to listen to a healthy conversation i know you're saying that sam wasn't the one being fruitful but that yeah. but that that came off like you were the one who weren't uh, trying to have the conversation. you weren't there before you came like into that moment right i know before. I, it was like that you know it was it was uh it, it was it wasn't really sincere you know uh that's the thing i feel like okay. with sam when he's bringing up the verse it i don't know if that's his intention uh -huh. only god knows the intention right but the thing is is when you mention something and speak a certain way sometimes people think oh you're not really looking to understand it you're just looking to manipulate the understanding maybe for viewers maybe for the camera you know but this is verse 91 if you want me to pull it up he was asking me about this one the verse says and 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 what when it is said to them believe in what allah has revealed they say we believe in that which was revealed to us and they deny what is besides that while it is the truth very verifying what they have say when did when when why then did you kill Allah's prophets before if you were indeed believers? Now, see, the thing is, is you have to have context. And, uh, you know, let me pull up the full, this whole thing. But basically, Allah, in the Quran, Allah is talking to the generations that came before us. Uh -huh. Yeah? He's talking to the children of Israel. He's talking to uh, the people of uh, uh, the, the, the people of the Injil, who were with Jesus. But see, the prophets that came, the Muslims, we believe in Jesus, Abraham, Moses. I'm sure you might know this already. I don't know if you know anything about Islam. I'm that familiar with yeah, it. You're that familiar? Yeah, okay. but I'm so, not familiar with like the in-depth of it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like of course. Of course, there's context, yeah. Right. So we believe in all the prophets, yeah? Right. But the thing is, is we, we believe that when Moses, when Moses came and Jesus came, he came for the children of Israel. Meaning there were a, a, tri a people that were called Bani Israel, a nation. Mm -hmm. So Jesus didn't come for humanity. He came for specifically for the children of Israel. Okay, so but what happened is because they kept changing, they tried to crucify him. Muslims don't believe he was crucified though, but they tried to kill him uh, because he came with a message and they constantly basically disobeyed the creator, disobeyed his messengers, killed prophets, things like that. Because of that, God said, you know what? You are no longer the chosen people. But once upon a time, the children of Israel, they were the chosen people. They were favored by God. But what happened was, because they kept disobeying God, they kept changing the original message, they kept changing the, the, word, the, the message of God, they kept doing that. So God said, you know what, you're no longer chasing people. I'm going to send the last messenger, final messenger, not to a nation, not to the Mexicans, not to the Asians, not to the Chinese, not to the Muslims, Arabs, or whatever. I'm sending them to humanity. 
and Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came for humanity. He came for the Africans, for the South Americans, for the Canadians. He came for everyone. But Jesus, he didn't come for everyone. He came for his people, his nation, which was the children of Israel. So when Allah says that in the Quran, oh, you, oh, Bani Israel, you, you, you killed the messengers, you've done all these things. He's telling them, hey, listen, you read this book and, and this is the final message that's going to confirm with what you have. But with what they have, it's not the message that we can use as reference. Why can't we use the... See, as Muslim, look, as Muslim, we have to believe in the Bible, the Injil, the Gospel, and we have to believe in the Torah, okay? We believe in it, but we just don't use it as a point of reference. Why? Because What does it, that mean? You say you believe in the Gospel, we believe but that, you don't use it as a yeah, point of yeah, reference? Yeah, 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 sorry, so sorry. Mean? Yeah, so it, once upon a time, those books did exist. It came once down. Once upon a time, what books? Uh, the the, 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 oh, the uh, uh, Book of Moses, the Torah. The Torah, okay. yeah. Okay. And the uh, Injil, which is the Gospel. So those books, they came down. And when you say, and when you say the gospel, are you referring to the Jesus, Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may have said this like the Muslim where it says, Isa will descend among you. Isa will descend soon among you. Recognize him. But he didn't descend. So you would say, it doesn't mean you necessarily. Be prepared because he can come down at any time. Right. So just like Paul, Jesus can come at any time. So let's be ready. He may come on the line or he may come after I'm dead. That's first Thessalonians 5 verse 10. So I'm giving the verse. I don't have the Bible. Yeah, but, so I thought, I thought the first day he said he thought he was going to happen. Yeah, no, he's saying it can't. The point is, if Jesus comes down right now, I'm transformed. But he says in 1 Thessalonians 5.10, whether we are alive or asleep, the Lord will come. So he's saying, I may be alive or I may be asleep, meaning dead. Because you don't know that they are alive. No one knows the unseen. Right? So this is why he's, he lived in the expectation, let me be ready, let me be ready for Jesus to come. So if he does come, I'm ready. If not, at least I die knowing I'm in a state of salam. Peace. I do have a question. Yeah, sir. So, By the way, I'm, I don't know, I'm speaking Arabic to you. I have just a few Arabic words, so I'm assuming. Oh, I don't know any Arabic. <laughs> okay. Oh, just a few words. But I have a question. Like, how do you guys reconcile? Like, I'll watch like uh, uh, the Christian historian, yes. and they'll say only seven or six letters are authentic. Yeah, that because yeah. now, but. Do you guys follow that? Um, yeah, no, that's, I don't, you're, I don't you're talking, know. No, he's yeah. talking about people like Barnum. Right. The, the people you're quoting as no, that's uh, Christian yeah, scholars, that's they're not necessarily scholars. They are what they call agnostic or atheists. Mm. Yeah, Barnum is definitely not believe, <laughs> Do not believe that God inspires people. And if there are differences in the language of a letter, let's say you're writing a letter to your friend, mm -hmm. and then you write a letter to your wife. Mm -hmm. I don't expect you're going to write the same way to your friend, to your wife, right? Yeah. So what do the scholars do? They'll see Paul write to Timothy, and they see he uses different words than he did when he wrote to this group. Therefore, because they're different words, it means it's a different author. But if I use that logic, I can then take a letter that you wrote to your wife, and I can take a letter that you wrote to your boss, and I can take a letter that you wrote to your friend, and see that you use different language. Because the way you're going to talk to your wife, you're not going to talk to him that way, right? Oh, see, you didn't write him. Someone else did. Now, what would you say to that assumption? If I believe that I wrote the letter, yeah, I would, I would, I would disagree with that. Exactly. Yeah, so the there is reason, no evidence. You know, yeah, for the same Historically, reason, have, yeah. there is no evidence whatsoever that these other letters were not from Paul. Right. It is a modern assumption mm -hmm. that if there's different vocabulary and a second problem, mm -hmm. in the ancient world they would use scribes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Paul mm -hmm. had many scribes. One of his scribes was Silas. Mm -hmm. One of his scribes was Tertius. Mm -hmm. So. I can have this scribe say, okay, write these words down, and mm -hmm. then I can tell him for another letter, but the scribes don't write the same way. Mm -hmm. They write differently, especially if I give them the freedom to communicate my words in a way mm -hmm. that will be sensible to him and the way he writes. So, if I use you as a scribe, are you going to write like him? No. And then I have him write another letter for me in a different time. Yeah. Is he going to write like you? No. Are there going to be differences? Yeah. Does that mean I didn't dictate to you two or ask you to write for me? That's the logic of these uh, skeptics. And then keep in mind, too, some of those you know, letters are written by Paul is in jail, right? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he's going to have to rely upon other yes. saying, to assist him writing yeah. things. So, to, to his point, you know, when it comes to, you know, the different scribes, if you take those two points into account, no, the I different scribes and also different terms of audiences that you're writing to, you know what I'm saying? It makes a whole lot of sense why mm -hmm. every letter wouldn't be cookie cutter. You know what I'm yeah. And so, that's, for, so for those same reasons, that's why I re yeah, yeah, reject this notion to, that, okay, well, some of these letters aren't. Authentic and some of them are. I think you have to take those real world so factors into account. Uh, mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Playing for the camera. Yeah. 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 That's, I was wondering. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I do have a. Huh? 
So, the, when Paul was when Paul was preaching, did all the churches in the first century have copies of his letters or no? Yeah, well, well they, they would make copies of yes. For example, mm -hmm. when he wrote a letter to the Ephesians, mm -hmm. they would then <clears throat> send it out to other churches, and he says to do that. For example, if you read Colossians 4.16, mm -hmm. he goes, read the letter from the Laodiceans and have them read this. Mm -hmm. So they would copy the letters because they understood this is a letter of an apostle and a spokesperson for Jesus Christ. And so, they wanted that letter. Mm -hmm. Hey man, the apostle wrote you a letter, we want a copy. So they would mass copy these letters early on, and then it would spread wide and far throughout the then known world. And that's in Colossians 4.16. And actually, some in, in the uh, centuries that follow, mm -hmm. among the reasons why a, a letter or one of the Gospels or whatever would be taken to be what's called canon, you know what I'm saying, as, you know, uh, in terms of having authority versus one that isn't, one of the things that they took into account is how much had that letter circulated amongst the church. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, anybody can write anything, you know what I'm saying, but if, any, if, it was, if it wasn't gaining traction you know what I'm saying, and wasn't, you know, uh, you know, ministering to the ecclesia, you know, the body, then that was an indicator that something wouldn't be included. But Paul's letters, obviously, because they were circulating like that and, you know, uh, serve, serve to the body, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the factors that, you know, uh, were his letters be included into the canon. Mm -hmm. So he was definitely in, in heavy circulation, if you will. He used, you know, hip -hop I, I thought, you know I, thought I, mean? I was under the impression... He was getting spins, you know what I mean? I was, I was under the impression that Marcion only had the... Martian. Well, let me talk Mar about Mark. Oh, he only, he only have like the seven letters of Paul no, yeah. and a redacted book of Mark. And then he came Luke, in. Not Mark. Luke, he redacted Martian, Luke. Luke. Martian. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Luke. Why? Why did Martian do that? Because Martian thought that the God of the Old Testament was a just yeah, God, yeah, yeah. an evil God, and Jesus came to liberate you mm -hmm. from that God. Well. Now, I don't know what your background is. I don't mm -hmm. know what you believe, but mm -hmm. obviously, one thing about Jesus we know for certain, mm -hmm. he preached that the God of the Old Testament is a true God. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. So for someone to come and say, the God of the Old Testament is an evil God, and Jesus liberates you from that, you know that's not the teachings of the historical of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what did Paul do? I'm uh, sorry, what did Martian do? He took the letters of Paul, edited them, and took Luke, edited it, any positive reference to the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the Gospels he had no use for because there was too much references to the God of the Old Testament. Even Luke had too much for his taste, so he edited it. Whereas with Paul, there are not as much allusions or reference to the Old Testament, and so he could deal with that and chop it up. And that's what forced the church to say, no, Martian, you can't play with the canon this way. Mm -hmm. You can't just take the letters of Paul that you like and edit them and take the Gospel of Luke and edit it mm -hmm. because you don't agree that the God of the Old Testament is a, is a true God. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. Because one thing we know is that the historical Jesus yep. affirmed the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So Martian is not a friend, not only he's not a friend for the church, he's not a friend for anyone who believes the God of the Old Testament is a true God. So I don't know if that's what oh, you mean. Oh, 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 what do you believe about the God of Abraham? Oh, I used to be a Christian. I'm not anymore. Okay, so but what are you now? I'm a Muslim now. Okay, so as a Muslim, you believe the God of Ibrahim is a just, is a true God. Yeah. Martian would say you're you're smoking crack. Yeah. Uh, Do you agree with Martian? No, no. He no, no. used smoking crack. No, because I remember I read, I read about it, and I wasn't sure that. No, because some people believe. I'm not talking about. No, I know. Everything, but some people believe that he was probably the first. He was a preformed Bible, like he was the yeah. first one who had a somewhat of a New Testament formed well, let's, on, let's, his own, on his own authority. authority well, yeah, let's yeah. run with that. How can he create a canon if there wasn't already a canon functioning? In other words, mm -hmm. of all these letters, why is it that he chose Paul and Luke if Paul and Luke are not already in circulation yeah. and accepted by the churches, right? Uh -huh. You don't just make up something. You take something that's already in circulation. Did he, did he make up the writings of Paul? No. Did he make up the writing of Luke? Did he make up the writing of Luke? No, right? These are writings that were circulating. So what did God, or what did Martian do? He took what was already the common possession of the church and he said, I'm going to select these and I reject those. The fact that he rejected some, what does that tell you? There is a functional canon, a canon functioning, right? Mm -hmm. But he's saying, I don't want those books. You can have them and only follow these because these are the only true authentic yeah, essence. Yeah. So that's his logic. It's like someone saying, these surahs I like, mm -hmm. those surahs, they're fake. Mm -hmm. But then the communion of Lord saying, by what authority do you say they're fake? Uh -huh. You get my point? Mm -hmm. By what authority do you mm -hmm. say they're fake? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't agree with its theological assumption. And mm -hmm. that's, again, we all do that. For example, as a Muslim, mm -hmm. because you did not believe Jesus has gotten the flesh, guess mm -hmm. what you're going to do to my Bible? Which mm -hmm. you Muslims do. I mean, I'm sad to attack. Mm -hmm. You then go and quote those verses of the Bible that agree with the Quran, mm -hmm. and those verses that contradict you say corruption. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a Martianite move on the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right? How different mm -hmm. is it?
Well, well there's a verse in the Bible that contradicts the Quran. What do you say about it? See, but that's my whole thing. This is my whole thing. I'm not but like, then you're doing what Marshall I'm not like, I'm not like trashing, not, not no, like... No, we don't get a from my parents or Christians. Yeah. I'm just saying that when I read... Not going too well? I just can't verify, no, like, well. internally, yeah. like, if so, so. Jesus really said that. I'm like, I, I just... Yeah, I just debate about yeah. that. Like, that's the only thing. Yeah, like, when I read, yeah, like, the New Testament. Like, like, um... I just don't know. Like, I am just don't know, man. But when you say verify internally, it's disgusting. Okay, like, it, like just the quotes, like, like when Jesus says, "I and the Father are one." Did he really say that? Or, uh, that was a question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, like, there's certain my whole because um, I'm not sure about if Jesus said any of this stuff. In the like what? Well, that's Anything like you want to say? He okay, said, but like, are you I, certain? I the Father well, but, well, let me say that. I was going to ask him why he was unsure. Okay, but here I wanted to talk mm -hmm. to that. So you're sure that when the Quran quotes what Jesus said in the Quran mm -hmm. by a man who comes 600 years after the birth of Jesus, yeah. and he's quoting him in Arabic, oh, a language that Jesus didn't speak, mm -hmm. but you're sure that Jesus said those words? Because because of what? I spent years. It's not like nothing new. Like I, no, but I, so you okay? I, it's not like nothing new. Like I was going to church twice a yeah. week. Yeah, I was into it, but I'm just saying, like, after a while, I stopped believing in a lot of it. And I'm like, I don't know if this is true or not, I don't know if this is true or not. And then I don't even know if Jesus died on the cross. Yeah, this is just me doing my own that's historical fine. research. That's so that's why... Would you have to reject it. But before well, you even answer that question, uh -huh. let's come back to the first one. Uh, Do you deny anything that Jesus said in the Quran? No, I don't. Even though it comes from Muhammad, 600 years removed from Jesus, and didn't know the eyewitnesses, and didn't meet Jesus while he's on earth. No, but this is what I'm saying. No, like, but I mean, even yeah. though, right? Yeah, yeah. But even with, well, I'm mm -hmm. just to finish the point, mm -hmm. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. even someone like Bart Ehrman is a skeptic. Well, mm -hmm. These are first century writers. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. He doesn't believe Matthew wrote Matthew. Mark wrote Mark. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe they're inspired. But he goes, as an historian, one th certain thing I can tell you, mm -hmm. these are first century accounts mm -hmm. written within 40, to, okay, 40 to 60 years mm -hmm. after Jesus' crucifixion. Yeah. So if these documents are in first century, when mm -hmm. the generations eyewitnesses are still there, and mm -hmm. you still question them, but then you're telling me I'm going to take a word of someone 600 years later who did not know the eyewitnesses. No, but this is... Why? This is after four years of... Yeah, but why? Let me see, I think I left the church like 2015. And, but then this is like years of research on my own, and I came to the conclusion that they must have been corrupted, the Bible. On that, what grounds? I don't know, like, I couldn't believe the Noah's blood story. But the it's part, in the Quran, dude. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about man. the children of Ham part. I couldn't believe that. What does it say about the children of Ham? You can't use that verse and say all the black people. Can I give you $10 million? <laughs> I'll give you $10 million uh, if you show me in Genesis 9 where Ham was cursed. He says he was cursed. No, nope. cursed be Canaan. You but that's not how the historically it's For been read. Forget them. You're going by the Bible. You said you rejected the Bible. No, but the whole the Where whole does life. it say cursed be Ham? Uh, no, but I'm just saying. It says... But I thought it said cursed be Canaan. No, cursed be Canaan. In no. Canaan, they were a race of Caucasians. They were not even black. Meaning their skin color. If you're going to go by their skin color historically, they were not black. So that's not The Canaan, I, I know, but that's just Okay, but can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you believe the Hadith? Yeah, I do. Either. Okay. Then if I show you from Bukhari that Muhammad owned black slaves and sold black slaves, mm -hmm. and then it says, according to Kadi Iyad and mm -hmm. as he said, if anyone says that Muhammad is a black man, kill him. You're going to be okay with that? If I show you those hadiths, those statements? Well, I, I wait. See, why is it inconsistency, man? No, you can use one criterion to reject the Bible, yeah. but then the same criterion applied? Oh, well, why? Yeah. Be consistent. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, that was like, there's like other things. There's not, not like just like one. Yeah. Well, what about Muhammad saying, if someone says, I'm a black man, kill them? If you, Does it he say that? Does it say that? Could, yeah, I, yeah, could I ask you something yeah. in advance? In all honesty, Victor, if he shows you that, will you be okay with it? Or uh, I sold black slaves and all this. You go oh, I know will that you part. you be okay well, with it? Well, you know it? that part. Yeah. No, the other part black I was asking about. And, and he bought black slaves? You know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay with it? No, but some of them were, he was trading for the Muslims. Oh, so you're okay, though? Yeah. You're okay with it. I, I mean, know. you can't even the whole the even though it makes it an issue of the skin color says black. Why even mention their skin color? Why even say black? Why not just say slaves? Well, there was Afro, but but why say skin color? I don't know, but that's what. But I'm just saying, you can't throw. Does the Bible ever do that? Yeah, heard does of it black, say the black slaves or the, white it, the answer is no. The but, they do, but they do define you between Gentiles. Talk, but they do define between Gentiles yeah, but Gentile and regular slaves, slaves, like regular. So they were so with the with the Jewish slaves, you could free in seven years. But it doesn't. But say, a Gentile, but it's very you can so it doesn't say anything about black slaves, though, does it? 
It doesn't prefer, but it does differentiate ethnicity-wise. Okay, but, but not just one particular race yeah. point. Let me about address that. Wrong. It's not about race either. He's, saying, about he's saying Gentiles. Okay, well, let's, let's go with the logic. The Gentiles mm -hmm. that you're referring to mm -hmm. sacrifice children to their gods and goddesses. Lolan. The Gentiles that you're referring to committed bestiality, homosexuality. Mm -hmm. The Gentiles that you're referring to committed incest and worship gods and goddesses. Mm -hmm. The most humane thing that God could have done is have them enslaved by the Israelites to now have a moral restraint. Because now when the Israelites are controlling you, you mm. can't go around murdering children and committing bestiality. Now what was this all? Yeah, the Gentiles, of course. They were characterized by that. Human sacrifice was common across the world. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so That's all over the world. world. And then also yeah. they would have sexual yeah, orgies like, oh, to appease their gods and goddesses. God. So the reason why God said you free a Hebrew Israelite, mm -hmm. not a Gentile, because part of the judgment mm -hmm. is that this is their punishment for living such a decadent, hedonistic, immoral life. And that becomes a moral restraint because now you constrain that evil spreading like gangrene and destroying others. And it ends up actually protecting the children who otherwise could be sacrificed and killed for gods and goddesses. So let's see the broader picture. Mm -hmm. Not just look at snippets, but still, even with that said, mm -hmm. why would, why would in the Quran in chapter 4 verse 24 mm -hmm. allow Muslims when they attack let's say Jews and Christians mm -hmm. and take married women captive it says then you can have sex with them why? what's their crime? they're not idolaters they don't commit bestiality they don't commit homosexuality well the Bible says the same thing no it doesn't yeah. you, want me, you want me to show you no? no when the, the armies were marching into the promised I'm land I'm giving you the verse and they, and they, what were those? Deuteronomy 21 10 and 14 I'm telling you no it doesn't Deuteronomy 21 10 and yeah. 14 says if you find a captive woman mm -hmm. You find her attractive. You give her a month to mourn. Mm. She is to shave her head, right? Mm. And give her a month to mourn the death of her loved ones. Mm. Make sure she changes her clothes of captivity. Mm. Then afterwards, you marry her. Mm. And if there's something you dislike, you divorce her and send her off. Mm. You cannot sell her because mm. you've humiliated her. That's not in the Quran. The Quran says if a married woman is taken captive, you can have sex with her and sell her even if her husband's alive. You're comparing apples and pineapples. No, 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 That's no, chapter no. 4, verse 24. You want me to read it for you? Wait. No, so which you is know, more you humane? You know what groups I'm talking about? The ones there where... There isn't. I'm telling you. They're going into the, the And there isn't land. there. Nowhere does it say you take a woman captive who's married but they, and you But that was her. all the virgins, though. They kept all the virgins. No, you're... My friend, no, Numbers 31, 15, 18, yeah. you're taken out of that context too? We get the Bible together. I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Numbers 31, 15, 18, which you misquoted again. I know what you're referring to. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me the context of that? Wait, I gave you the context of the Quran, but you didn't. Oh, I think it had something to do with the past. Some no, kind it had nothing to do with the past. Yeah. It had to do with a group of women. Mm. This is number, I'm giving you the context. Mm. Numbers 25, Numbers 30. Mm. A group of Moabite and Midianite women mm. enticed Israelite men to have orgies with them in worship of Baal. God said, wipe them out, but spare the virgins, because the virgins were not culpable. They did not entice them but what about to the, but, but what about the virgin boys? That they, okay, well, okay, now that let's, they had, let's go with that. What about if there was like a six-year-old boy? Uh, very easy. A ten-year-old? Yeah, yeah. Can I answer? Yeah. I mean, you want to answer? Even though yeah. you skirted 424 notice, you still didn't answer. What's 424? I don't even know what it says. Oh. <laughs> let me get you the crown. Sam, I brought up the Hadith, if you want to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, let me show. show wait, 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 what book is it from? I don't know if well, I should. What book is it from? Yeah, when it's on the top right here. There's a source. The reason why I pulled away because he said three. It's playing for the camera, so I don't want to give it. Ibn Musa. I never heard that one. Yeah, well, you won't hear it. What book is it from? Though? You have to find the book. Yeah, it's, it's from Chef. Uh, it's Ash Shifa Kat. Kadiat as Shifa. Yeah, Jesus I would have to look that up. Okay, it's true or not. Now, this is the verse I kept mentioning, but you kept running into the Bible. Mm -hmm. Also, prohibited to your walk. Sure. Oh, wait, this is not, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay. The read and also, prohi yeah, yeah, and also prohibited to you are married women. Except, except those, you're right. Ah, there's nothing wrong with that? This, Let's wait, ask wait. the women if there's nothing wrong with that. Woman, this Muslim man attacks you, you're married. Oh, wait, wait. says that you're married, he can still have sex with you and sell you off. Nothing wrong with that? No, you, you sure you won't be okay with it? <gasps> Sucks no. being you, Quran says he can do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read the whole... Yeah, read it, please. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't change the context. Conveniently, now for this, you want context. I like that. Wait, wait, prohibited to you are your... See, like, this makes sense. Your mother's... No. Yeah, I'll keep reading. Your sisters... And that doesn't explain away that part. Keep reading. Doesn't explain away that part. Now read 24, you jumped there. Well, what, I'm reading in the it. context. Wait, wait. Oh so if I have a servant. Blah, blah, blah. Well, wait, this it's is just. It's not a servant. This if you is take just. someone captive who's married, you can't have sex with them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if we. No, this is just. It so is I've just. been reading about this. 
just leaves. This, this is just. If he takes you captive, you're married. He can have sex with you. It's just. You heard it, right? This is, this is, this is and just. And this is not abrogated. This is still binding. Wait, today. this is just. You know so why? be careful this guy comes to your area. You know why? Because... It's because to do that? an American out of slavery, we saw how. What's that got to do with this? Uh, an American book slavery. That's from God. No, 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 no. This is the way. To, an American slavery. We saw that that the um, they had the, the the people would have sex with the slaves, we're not but the kids would still be slaves but you're not and sold about, off. You're not. See, so you're changing subject. But if the uh, say no, read but it. You're, married but you're, uh, women accept those who you then wait, 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 married who's your captive. But you if can you have look sex at the, with her. But if you look at this, it says. If you, if I have a captive woman, that's married. I can marry. I can I'm allowed to marry her. No, it doesn't say that. Don't misread it. Stuck for Allah. Wait. Stuck for Allah. Don't Wait, misread also. it. Read it again. You can't have sex with a married woman except if she's a captive woman. That means mm -hmm. if you take a captive woman married, you mm -hmm. can have sex with her. Mm -hmm. Read it. This is Sunan Abu Dawood, number twenty-one fifty, for the context of the Hadith and Ibn Kathir. Wait, wait, wait. You so want to how, up soon enough? Wait, 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 so how is this? Oh, wait, so yeah, I, I don't understand. I can't when I got the right, camera, right. though. Okay, wait, too much. I'm out of here. All right. All right. You have a good day. All right, Sam. I'll leave him? I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, have a good day. Right. So are you okay with that? <laughs> wait, say so, okay, if I have... Okay, let me give you practical. Say if I have literally... Okay, I have a captive. Say if I have... No, my friend, you're not listening. You're trying to defend someone. If I have a captive woman that's married. Right. Where's my love, bro? I'll we'll see you later, bro. Yeah, I see how you are. You I need mean, your, you're on the camera, you though. people for that blonde hair white man. I see what's up, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, bro. Tell him I said what's up. I got to be cameraman. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell, cool. him I, uh, tell him his reparations. Hey, I want to meet him. Tell me before God you okay with that. Wait, if, if they get attacked? Okay, jihad. I'll stop for jihad. Jihad. Yeah. I come and I attack. Mm -hmm. I take your mother, who's married captive, and I take your sister, who's married captive, mm -hmm. and then we have sex with her. Mm -hmm. You okay with this? Please answer directly. Don't do the tap dance. Technically, you wouldn't be okay with it okay, because good. that happened to your At family. Least but that's but that's all that's human answer if you that happened to your family. Four twenty four. But that's what you have to do in jihad because they are not Muslim. Mm. So thank you. At least you're honest. Mm. You know, if you want to still believe it, that's between you and God. You have the freedom of choice. But the difference with the Old Testament. That's about Israelite history. This is a command that's still binding on you if you have... No, it. no, but I'm just saying that we have historical evidences around the world. For what? People still use the Old Testament for law. Okay. People use it for a lot of things. I know. ISIS does it. Are you okay with it? I'm not okay with ISIS. Okay, but are you? But they use the Quran, But they could huh? be crazy things still. Oh, but those same crazy people must use the Bible. Why are you blaming the Bible? I, but I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. But I didn't some people, use it. I some gave people, you the but, but I'm just saying like some people don't believe that. The Old Testament is just the Old Testament. They do apply. How? The new Jesus told us mm. that we follow his law. Even your Quran says, this is your Quran. I'm mm. going with your Quran. Mm. We are Ahl al-Injil, the mm. people of the gospel, meaning we follow the gospel. That's mm. chapter 5 of the Quran, Surah al 47. You want me to show it to you? We don't follow. We're not Ahl al-Torah. We are Ahl al-Injil. But, but I thought um, we believe, wait, Jesus said, Jesus said that you're supposed to follow the old enemy. No, Jesus said you follow him as he fulfills and perfects the old. No, but I thought he said. Um, no, he didn't. Do not think you that have to I believe in every. Well, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Jot, jot and tittle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. Jot and you're misquoting. Okay, but yeah. here. And here, I'm going to read your Quran 350. And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah, and to make lawful for you some of what was forbidden to me. So now, he says the Torah is true, but now I will make haram what was haram. So who do I follow? If there's something haram in the Torah, and Jesus says, I'm making haram, who do I follow now? What Jesus says or what the Torah says, according to your Quran? Who do I follow? And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you some of what's forbidden to you. Mm. That means if Jesus comes and I'm a Jew, mm. the Torah says this is haram, mm. this is unlawful. Jesus says, I make it lawful. Yeah. So if I fear Allah and I follow Isa, do I then follow what he says is now okay? Or I say, no, Isa, I still keep the Torah. With the following, he said. Okay, that's my point. Mm. Even that passage you're quoting, mm. finish it. It's not Matthew 5. Then read it. You have heard it was said, but I say to you. Wait, because I I'm only it. saying this because you guys have Jewish Christians who say that they have to follow all the Old yeah, Testament, they can say all what the 360 they want. laws, or they can say what laws they, they can't follow. Well, no, no, I hear you. So, but yeah. just know it's not just Jewish Christians. Those people, even in the Old Testament, we refer to them as Judaizers. Yeah. We try to put the whole 
of yeah. the old covenant upon new covenant believers. Mm. But if you read, it's a beautiful passage. If you read Acts 15, it's not a stump you yep. or anything. Mm. If you read Acts 15, it, it deals partially with this because what was happening in the early church, they didn't know what to do with all those new Christians that were coming in, right? Mm. And some of the Judaizers were trying to do just what you said. So mm. I'm not denying that people have done that. I totally agree there. Mm. And they said, you got to follow this. you got to do this. you got to be circumcised. You can't eat that, right? Mm. Do all this stuff. Yeah. They had a council and said, we're not going to put that which we know our forefathers have been able to keep. Mm. Here's what you need to do. And it was a basic set of moral principles that the Gentile believers would live by. Mm. So that's out of pocket to do that because we're exactly. saved by grace through faith. Mm. But I hear you. We're but not I want to read this too now. But, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before but, but, you read 546. Okay. Read 546, 47. What is this? 546, we think 47. Read oh. oh. it read for us. And we think following in the footsteps Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming which came before him in the Torah. We gave him the gospel, which was guidance and light, and confirming that which proceedeth of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has so revealed. So if I follow here. Jesus and, and I follow Torah, does not gospel. judge by what Allah has revealed, it is those who are the defiantly disobedient. So if I'm Ahlan and Jir, do I follow Torah or the gospel? If I'm a follower of Jesus, not the Jew who rejects Jesus. What is the Torah? What is the gospel? Uh, according to your Quran, it's what they had at that time. No, I'm asking you, what is it? Yeah, it's what I have. No, what what have. is it? The, what I have, the New Testament. What so, I have. Exactly. So you say the Torah is the New Testament? No, you said Torah and what is the New Testament. The, the gospel. No, so the I gospel. ask you a question. What is the Torah the and what is the gospel? The Old Testament. Yeah, and I answered the gospel. If you're listening more than debating, I answered you. Gospel, New Testament, Torah, Old he Testament. He did answer to be fair. We got to record it. So Great. don't debate if you're going to debate. Okay. You're asking, let me answer. So the Torah is? Yes. Torah is? Is the Old Testament. And the Gospel is? Is the New Testament. So now what's your question? Uh, no, I was going to listen to him. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm his brother. Yeah, they're having well, a I don't know about that. Would you allow me to answer? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the thing. question is, if I follow Isa, I follow his Gospel. Yeah. But if I reject Jesus, like the Jews do, then they're told in Surat al maidah read 545, read it for him, 43 to 46, oh, again? they follow the Torah. Okay, so, so the, Jews, the, the Jews, they follow the Torah. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? No, the, I, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, I, I just, just let said, me understand. Excuse my intelligence. Would you repeat? What, you're, what you're, you're I'll saying? probably just ignore you completely if you keep it up. They were having awesome. a great conversation. Awesome. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I humbly request, don't See, change the tenor. Me. Let, let me finish. Yeah, Whatever. Don't Whatever, change the man. tenor. They were no, having no, no, a... I'm not changing. You're very rude. I'm not changing. You come over here and you're aggressive and you don't even understand. Okay, so the question... I am requesting, please... Don't okay. change the tenor so the way question, you're doing. So the Torah is the Old Testament and the Gospel is the New Testament. So which one do you follow? I follow the New Testament. What about the Old Jesus. Testament? I follow what Jesus tells me about the Old Testament. But your Bible has both of them, right? Yes, yes. So how is why? that? Be very easy. Why? Can I answer you or are you arguing? I'm answering, I'm asking. Okay, be patient for the answer. Sure. Because the Old Testament points to Jesus. And yes. Jesus says, I now fulfill it, now follow me. That's what he says in my New Testament. So why are they in the same book? Because the Old Testament is a witness to Jesus. It's like asking you, okay. how do you know Muhammad was sent by the God of Abraham? What okay. evidence do you have? Okay. No, no, no. No, that's that's not no, no, it's relevant. Yes, no, it is. It's not. I'm asking okay. you. Bye -bye. You have Wait, both. You have both. Can you answer the question? Bye-bye. Muhammad. You have both in one book. You have both in one book. Muhammad. How can you follow a few chapters? I'm answering. Well, you follow. Not, not answer. How many? How many chapters? The new, the new Testament. Sir, the wanna, are long. you trying to fight with me here? I don't want to answer your question. You're debating. So, how many chapters the New read Testament? Chapter five for how many? How many chapters the New Boy, Testament? Five, I read chapter five. five verses how many five, chapters the New Testament? I'm Wait. ignoring you. I don't know what else you want me to awesome. do. Awesome. Awesome. Great. I thought you were here to discuss and learn. No, I'm not here to have someone not listen when he's asking Wait, a question. Five, five, being five. Sure. I'm, I'm glad your camera records, Beautiful. which I know you're going to edit it later. But no, I'm we don't do what you guys do. No, no. I'm asking you We question, don't need to edit. It's an example answer. of bad behavior. Just what? let it let it play out, bro. Read 43 to 46. 43 to 46. 43 to 46. Sure. 46. It says, how, but how is that they come to you for judgment while they have a Torah and what's the... Can I'm going to ask him a question. What do you think is going on, Brother George? Yeah, I would love to see the San Diego Christians to be here every Saturday, every Sunday, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. You have an obligation to come here and expose Islam and share the gospel with Muslims and prevent the conversion of Islam. This is reality. They are here in your backyard. You Christians in San Diego, please do your job. Thank you. All right.
It's, it's an amazing opportunity. It's an amazing opportunity, and I get to talk to many people. They were approached by them, and we need to prevent them from knowing. I, I want them to know the truth about what is doing. Okay, so the Bible is perfect in every fact. Okay. I want, I want, I want, no, in every statement of fact. Okay. In other words, you cannot find a single contradiction okay. to reality within the Bible. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, but but there is contradictions in the Bible. You know that. No. Okay. So in 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 uh, in uh, two Kings two. Before 40. you start, define a contradiction for me. I'm gonna define a contradiction. No, define it before okay. we start, so okay. we can have an okay, understanding. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So let me ask you this: when when when, when, when you say one thing, if you tell me this guy right here, he's wearing a John Calvin shirt. A great. Okay, John Calvin shirt. <laughs> is that what it is? John Calvin. <laughs> yes, it okay. is. Okay. I was predestined to wear so, it too. He's wearing a great jacket. He's got See? a red and gray badge. Right. Okay. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Vocab. No, what's your name? Vocab. Your name is Vocab. Yeah. Let's say he's 30 years old. Okay. I, I like this guy. Hey. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's just say. <laughs> let's just say. Your name really Vocab? Yeah. You call me Cap for short. But who, who names you Vocab? It's your like my name? it's like my nickname. Oh, what's your real name? No one calls me my real you name. You go by Vocab, huh? Yeah, okay, because okay. I deal with Hebrews lights and they want to kill me, so I don't give my real name. Oh man, yeah, man. No, that's seriously, that's tough. why. I always tell Hebrews lights. Muslims are way more respectful than you guys. Uh, uh, I'll tell you. His <laughs> they get mad reason. when I say that, but I tell them, no, seriously, Muslims <laughs> are way more respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. than you guys. What's honestly, the bounty? I want to I want to decide if I should. Make a call. Nah, they, they, uh, they just, yeah, they're, they're. Hon honestly, Bokap, to be honest with you, uh, me personally, I'm not like a big fan of this style of, of interaction. Because what it does is causes people to just, some people see the camera and then they start switching up. It's like, it's all genuine at first, and then when the camera comes, oh, let me just start trying to prove myself. Or sometimes the people that are interacting, sometimes it's not even gonna go anywhere because one person is trying to prove the other person wrong, the other person is trying to prove it can happen. Wrong. I agree. And, and, and you know, in all honesty, to be honest with you, I'm here when I'm speaking. I speak yeah. with genuineness. And honestly, like I, I look in Islam, in the Quran, Allah tells us, if you do not believe what's in this book, go into the world and see for yourself. Don't blind yourself and believe it. Don't wait, just say. Wait, where is that? Oh, it's the first in the Quran. I'll pull it up for you. Yeah, so you guys, the, you guys seem to be doing good though. Yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. It's good but, conversation. But, but, so, I appreciate it. Yeah. So the point that we got, but well, let me pull up the verse for you. I'll get some uh, some of the booth here. A lot of beneficial conversations. Liar, define. I, I left because that guy was playing no, the camera. Not a stupid, yeah, no, but we just humiliated. You guys were having a really good conversation. Yeah, no, no, it's all right. Nice to my friend, how are you? What's your name? Oh, oh he's stuck in the rough. Do you want to get it here? So he asked me a question. <laughs> is Allah created? So my, my answer was that Allah is not created. So he asked me another question. He asked, that, is the words of Allah created? I said, no. He said, well, the two are not created. That means two God. Well, this is just nonsense. Allah has not created. And this is simply tells you that none of his description, none of his attributes are created. Because can how could Allah be not created? And then his part or his attribute or his description created. He's not created. That means his attribute and his description is not created. So I feel like I'm rapping right now. You see? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Will they enter into Jenna? Do you know the answer? Will she enter into Jenna? Okay. I don't think, my personal opinion. What, so what, what do you think disqualifies them? Their beliefs. So if you have the wrong beliefs. Their beliefs, like, like if you don't, you do is watch videos of them. They don't pray, they pray to the saints. They pray to saints. They're, they're, they're she has saints, they pray to the saints. They worship Ali. <laughs> that's, that's the whole point of it. All right. They may say they don't, but they do. So because you're... making dua like you're praying is a form of worship. Right. So that's why I don't. I would say no. Because what I was going to ask him is, if Shia are own Muslims, and because he accused them of being practicing Shia, 
The accusers are practicing a lot. They do, they right? do, yeah. Right, because I mentioned to Kia, and he said, you know what it is. But that's more like a Shia thing, though. Right, that's what he said. Yeah. And so the reason I asked him, are Shia real Muslims? Because if he said yes, I was going to say, then you're saying real Muslims can lie as part of their, as their religious I practice. Personally, like, you is, said no, this so is it's, my a different, personal opinion. it's a different answer I'm not, to you. I'm not, answer, I'm not answering for the Muslims of the world. Right. My personal opinion, I don't believe they're real Muslims. Just because I've seen their practice, I watched the videos translated from Farsi to Arabic. Right. They do a lot of crazy things. Like, What about this? Do they, they have an idol, I think this was in Pakistan or somewhere, somewhere in the Indo-Pakistan, I guess. They had an idol of Hussein, who was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon his grandson, in the masjid. They're crying to it. <laughs> but you can't tell me that's worshiping God. Well, so it sounds like idolatry to me, but I'm not it's, it's not vouching for their salvation. It resembles, it, it resembles Catholic saint stuff. Like, what you're yeah. What about like, 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 do you believe people that pray to these saints, that saint, and instead of going to God, right. do you believe that's problematic? Right. If I went to do the I? Saint, oh, yeah, certainly, yeah. If I went to the yeah. statue of Saint, I'm not sure all the saints are. But if I went to the statue, yeah. and I'm praying to the saints. Help saint, me, St. Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, Jesus is the one mediator between God and man, Timothy says. So we're on the same page about that. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think the one mediator is between God and man, then? I don't believe in the mediator. I believe in the to God directly. Okay. Like if I was gonna pray, see that's what my whole problem was with Christianity. Yeah. When you need to pray, are you praying to say I want to pray? I'm always praying to Jesus as a Christian. But when I should have been praying to like the Father or or Yahweh, what we want to say. But that's my own problem. Like I didn't feel comfortable. You don't know who you're praying to. I I feel like to me it feels like why do we need to pray to a third party when we can go. Like I don't see the I don't see the purpose of the crucifixion and the resurrection when you could when you go primarily to God Himself. But who's the third party though? I don't believe there's a third party. Well, me neither. I don't believe mm -hmm. there's a third party. I know, but when you pray, like say if you're going to pray for something, like you're praying your mom's sick or something, would you pray to our Father Jesus? who art in heaven? Are you praying to Are you name. praying to Yahweh? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Jesus is Yahweh. Wait, how is Jesus Yahweh? Because he's fully God. No, 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 no. It's three. It's the Trinity. No, 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 no. Hey, he's the best. He's very friendly. I know he's a good guy, but when other guy came attacked, he didn't do anything. Wait, that's not his fault. You can't blame him. Wait, but I understand how that goes. I don't hold that against you. The Trinity. You believe the Trinity? Because I was apostolic Pentecostal. You said I was a heretic. You think I was a heretic? Yeah, I was a heretic. You are a heretic. You are, but you were a nice heretic. Wait, wait, wait. Could you think I was a heretic? If I was apostolic. No, if you're apostolic, you're still a heretic. Because it was like modalism, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's that is, that's true, but you were a nice heretic, right? Oh, you can be a heretic in the So when I was apostolic, <laughs> you, you, okay, so I'm saying. But when you believe in the Trinity, you believe that there's three partners, three persons, three persons, three persons they're all independent, they're all independent. Not independent, no. I never say that. cannot work independently. I cannot do anything except for the Father. They're not independent. But you said that when you pray, that Jesus is, why was Jesus young? What do you mean, Alex? It's like saying, how is Jesus young? What are you asking? Wait, wait. That's, that's his essence. What are you asking? It's like well, saying, how is Jesus young? So when Jesus was getting baptized, He's not and the then River Jordan, and they said that, and heard the voice from heaven, yeah. and then the Spirit just like the dove. No, no, there's three. There's three. Of course, that's why that's perfect, brother. Three persons. Oh, well, he's got a great point. He's but got a great point. But then how is Yahweh? Right, right, right. It should be one person. So I can just remember the voice, right? You know? The Spirit is represented yeah. in the dove, and the Son is present. How can all three be one? Because you're assuming Yahweh can three persons. be one person. Why? Why does, why does Yahweh have to be one person? Because I know what you're thinking. No, but I'm asking you. So you never answer when I ask. Why does he have Why to does Yahweh have to be only one person? Because that's how traditional no, not Judaism thought. You're not Trinitarianism. Your heresy taught that. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Trinitarianism wait, said wait, wait. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But where? Okay, show me the Old Testament where the Trinity. Well, that's that's the Bible. Sure, I can't show you. Yeah, that's right. But, but cause you said that. Oh! I'm not sure if it's the part where you said it was the angel and Abraham. I want to see so he's listening to it. That's good. He's listening to it. He's listening. Hey. Hey. He's listening. Hey. Even, with, hey. even with the stuff over here, he's good listening. Well, he said the angel, but I didn't see how that was a trinity. No, angel. No, hold on. Can an angel claim to be God? Can an angel be what God does? Can an angel embody the essence of God? 
he's a creature. Can Jibreel, can Jibreel say, I am Allah? No. Can Jibreel say, I forgive you? No. Can Allah say, my name is in him? No. Okay. I'm glad you said it, right? Okay. But I'm just saying, for you, I don't know, so when I read that passage, I didn't see those words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? 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 Okay, Exodus 23. Remember what you said. I'm going to quote said. Jibreel cannot say, I am Allah. Jibreel cannot say, I forgive you. And Allah will not say, my name is in him, right? Okay, here you go. Exodus 23, 20 yeah. to 23. Let me read for you. Behold, I send an angel before you. This is God speaking. I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place that I prepared. Pay careful attention to him and obey his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Explain that to me. Oh, wait, what so you just said. No, 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 before you change it. I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and bring you to. Because I remember this angel. I remember this angel. No, you don't. Because Remember, then you didn't ask me the question. Oh, hey, God. Hey, be careful, yeah. attention to him, obey his voice. Do not rebel against him. For he, he will not pardon. He will not pardon your transgression. Why? For my name is in him. But you just said for a camera, an angel who screamed like Gabriel, he cannot forgive sins, and Allah will not say my name is in him. Mm. God said this angel, my name is in him, and he Now what sins. does my name is in him mean? Is that like his spirit? Or? It means my essence, my, my nature. Like when you say the al asma wa sifat, the names of Allah and his characters. Wait, and so who is this angel supposed to be today? Well, before you ask me who the angel is, you first ask me to return it. You at least agree with this Okay. That's so true. You at least agree. He's saying his voice, okay, he's saying he is, my name is in him, that is essence. Not only essence, he says, he will not forgive you. Who but Allah forgives sins? That's Surah Imran 135. He says, he will not forgive your sins. So his spirit is in whoever this angel is supposed to be. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, okay, okay. 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 For who, whoever this angel is supposed to be, he will, he, not, forgive he will not forgive your sins. He will not forgive your sins. But isn't, but, you change but, 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 if, change your argument early. but if the forgiveness of sins is only with God, then exactly. how is this like that? That's your proof of my point. Mm -hmm. How can an angel do what only God does if he doesn't bear the essence of God? That's mm -hmm. my point. Yeah. That means he has to have the nature of God and can do what only God can do. Mm -hmm. And yet he's distinct from God. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the wonderful world of the Trinity. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, uh, but, but I'm just saying, but where does it show? Brother, let's show. How could, wait, but how could... There could be three and one and one. Because God one, is not a man. Scene, God is one scene, so. Why not? If God is multi-personal, why can't all three persons appear visibly so you know that God is not one person, though he's one God? But wouldn't it be easier to think that why would it be easier? Kind of like with the, the uh, wait. So what's the whole deal with the Holy Witness? They don't believe in the training, they believe in the Michael is. Yeah, they believe that God yeah. created three. But how is that, that different? Is that's what they believe. They're not that's created. Not true. The three are not created. But here, okay. just so you can, uh, yeah, 3135 of the Quran. Three. Mm -hmm. Three for me, who forgives Here, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. Yeah, three, three, 3135. Let me know if you need it. 3135. And those who, when you commit, wait, and those who, when they commit immorality or wrong themselves, remember Allah and seek forgiveness for their sins. And who can't forgive sins except Allah? You agree with that? Yeah. But then God said, this angel will not forgive you. Why is God saying this angel does what only God can do according to your Quran? I'm still waiting for the answer. Wait, but this one is saying that... Uh, who God can forgive sins except Allah? But God said, this angel will not forgive you your sins. But your Quran says only God can forgive sins, which the Bible agrees. So how does the angel forgive sins if he's a creature like Jesus? Wait, the creature wouldn't be able to forgive sins. But that angel does. Did we read it? You want to read it again? Oh, it doesn't say the creature Okay, read it one more time. Oh, Exodus 23:21. Look, you just read it, and I'm going to give you another one just so it you can know. It could be hard to keep track of. All right. But can I talk to you the first that they did not forgive sins? No, he will you. not forgive you if you mess with him, just like Allah won't forgive you if you mess with him. Implying he could. He has and no, let me oh, okay, 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 that makes sense. Okay, we'll just that again. So if I'll show you what he does saying, forgive He's saying he's not going to exercise the prerogative to, uh, to forgive okay. sins, okay. but he has the ability to. He has the ability. Yeah. But that's that's what he's saying by that. He's saying okay, it shows now, that he has the show prerogative. Where he does, oh, show wait. where he does forgive sins. Go to Zechariah chapter three. Just look there. This Zechariah is what the angel, chapter three. The angel yes, said. the angel of the Lord. Zechariah chapter three, verses three and four. Read it and see now he does forgive sins. Zechariah, Zechariah three, three, verses three and four. Okay. Ready? Um, now Joshua. Let him see it too. Was standing before the Lord. I'm sorry. Now Joshua was standing before the angel, clothed with filthy garments. And the angel said to those who were standing before him, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, 
Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe you with pure vestments. Last verse I'll read. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him with garments, and the angel of the Lord was standing by. So the angel is the one who's doing this activity. He's giving an example of where this is going to say. Sam, I read the verse. So what did the angel say to the prophet? See, I have removed your sins. The angel said, why is the angel doing something only God can do? He's going to answer that question. I love you. Read it. Now come back to Jesus. The only hope of salvation. Now Joshua was standing before the angel clothed with filthy garments, and the angel said to those standing before him, remove the filthy garments from him. And that's what you're just saying, is removing the sins. We're not talking about Jesus. And to him he said, behold, I will take your iniquity away from you. I will clothe you with pure vestments. Who's speaking? That was the angel's speech. Okay, so now again, the angel not only won't forgive you if you get him angry, he will forgive you if he's pleased with you. The Quran says only Allah forgives sins. So I want to know, how can this angel, if he's a creature, forgive sins, remove sins, and make you pure? Mm -hmm. So is he a creature? I mean, he's created by God, yeah. If you were this angel. Then that means you have just created a contradiction because only God forgives him. The angel forgives him. Well, I'm going, going, I'm going according to your book. You know, no, not stuff. my book because my book agrees. Only God can forgive well, I'm saying according to like the chapter and what so it says. So this I'm angel reading, must be God, I'm just reading right? it in context. I'm not trying to this jump. This angel must be God, right? Because only does what God can do. Well, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, wait, wait, we have to wait, wait, but if you say the angel is God, then why don't you like the, uh, when they say that Michael is Jesus? Oh, because he's because created if Michael, me. if Michael was the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. then we'd accept it, but it's not, his name is not Michael. Yeah. An angel in Hebrew and Greek means messenger. It's the word malach and mm. angelus. It only means messenger. Mm. And Jesus being the son of the father is the messenger of the father. So the father sends him mm -hmm. with the father's message, but this son, because he's one with the father, can do what only God can do. That's why this messenger is unique. All other messengers created, but him, no. He's the divine son, one with the father, who forgives sins, which is only something God can do, mm -hmm. and embodies the name of God because he's not a creature. So you believe that Jesus had pre existence? No, Jesus said. Huh? Jesus said he preached. Wait, but this is what well, I'm still so, okay. So. Jesus said he well, how come? Well, how come they didn't, well, how, what's the whole belief that if you say that the trend, then the beginning of uh, the uh, Old Testament, one says the beginning was the word, uh, yeah, word yeah, was God, yeah, 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 and they say and they use like uh, Elohim as a plural. I heard that people. Think yeah, that's we don't the use that. I'm not using Elohim. That's okay. not my argument. But here, okay. do you believe when Jesus says, "I just want you to tell me"? Don't. Hey, do you believe when Jesus says in John 17:5? Read that for me. Just 17:5. You're in chapter 17. Read verse 5. For me. Tell me if you believe what and now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I have, I have with you before the world. So this is Do saying, you believe Jesus was with the Father before the creation of the world? But he said he was. Yeah. So now you're going to tell me your Bible's corrupt. No, I did but, what Martian but I'm did. just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, in my personal opinion, my personal Yeah. I'm not saying, oh, yeah, I'm just saying. So can Muhammad person. say, now Allah, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Can, can, Musa, can Musa say that? Uh, no, Moses, no, no, no. Can they can't say, right? No. But Jesus did. So, so explain that to me. No, I'm explain just saying. But how do you, this is my thing, how do you know, like, what about if the author just wrote the Instagram? Okay, this, fine. Let's let's go, but, but you're admitting when you say that, here's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're admitting, yeah, this verse is powerful. Mm -hmm. I can't refute it. So I'm not I'm not going to question whether you said it, which what I said you're going to do. Remember I said in the beginning of the conversation, you're no. going to be a Martian. What did Martian do? Let's yeah. go back. Oh, wait. Martian removed the verses he didn't like. And he only accepted the ones he did. I know. What but, did you just do? But isn't this just You're a modern on? Martian, right? No, no, no. But isn't this just going on pure faith? Like you have faith that... Yeah, but just like when I asked you, Muhammad comes 600 years after Jesus. Mm -hmm. He tells you Jesus said X, Y, and Z in Arabic. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, hold on. Jesus didn't speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. Muhammad didn't know Jesus personally on earth and didn't meet the eyewitnesses. Mm -hmm. He's telling you 600 years later, Jesus said that. And I asked him, do you believe that? You go, mm -hmm. yes. So you're going to take the words of a man 600 years oh, later. Oh, I have a question. No, no, no. But not documents no, in the first century. No, I have century. a question. Uh, this is my... destroyed me. Wait, so when Jesus was on the cross died, yes. and he's praying to yes. the Father, yes. do you believe that he was in his humanity? No, then? Jesus as the Son of God prays to the Father, because what is prayer? What's prayer? Mm -hmm. Tell me what prayer is. 
you pray, you pray. Yeah. Is it is it communication? Yeah, yeah. So if Jesus is not the Father, mm -hmm. and Holy Spirit is not the Father, mm -hmm. why would it shock you they would communicate to one another what we call prayer? What do three persons in love with one another do? Just look at each other in silence? But that, but but, but then he said that they were the same. That Yahweh. Same what? Not same person. You be saying essence. Yes. So Yahweh so, so is heavenly more than essence. one person, meaning divine essence, what we call that. So there but, could be technically Jesus when he comes down, when he believes the second coming, when he comes down. And that's another question. Why do you believe that? We'll get to that. Well, when you believe the second coming, when Jesus comes back. Yeah. That so technically there will be Jesus on earth yes. or whatever he does, there'll be No, and the Father Yahweh. will then eventually so you keep saying Yahweh as if it's only the Father. <laughs> I'll give you an example how a name can belong to more than one person. It says that when this is the Bible. It says when God created male and female, he called them Adam. That's what the Hebrew says. He called the male, female Adam. So Hawa, Eve, was called Adam. Her husband's Adam. So, Genesis 5 verse 2. In the King James Version. But here you're going to say, I don't know if this translation, but the Hebrew says, it does say. That's kind of interesting. I never heard that yeah, one. Yeah, let me show it to you. Like the Hebrew says, it, yeah, but maybe because your English translation may not show you that the Hebrew says Adam. The King James gives you the Hebrew. But anyway, that's fine. Genesis 5 2. Read what their name is. And then it should have a footnote telling you the Hebrew says. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, made him in the likeness of God, male and female, he created them. He blessed them with them and named them man. Okay, man. But now, what's the Hebrew word? Okay, what's the name of the Hebrew word they should show you? I don't know that. It should say Adam. See? Hebrew. What is it? Adam. So wait. Can never do that. How, how, how was named Adam, right? Yeah. And her husband's name what? Adam. But hold on. That means Hawa was married to herself. She had sex no, with No, they'll be married to Also, more, no, the name can belong to more than one person. I never knew that person. Ah, so then why do you keep thinking always one person? You're getting close now. Oh, coming wait, back wait. to Jesus, the Son oh, of God. Come back so, home, wait, wait. son. Wait, wait, Jesus, tell you come back. Uh, wait. So, you made a mistake. No, wait. But this is my this is my question. This is my question. Yes. But don't you believe that the God of the Old Testament is Yahweh? Of course, but he's not one one person. That's what I showed the Old Testament. Uh, the angel is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. The God who sent him is Yahweh, and the Spirit is Yahweh. So with Daniel was in the. Do you believe that when Daniel was in the, in the uh, fiery furnace? That's the Son of God. It's Jesus. That was Jesus. The, yeah, the Son of God. The angel of the Lord, the Son of God. But see, that goes against you. Why does he go against you? In your Quran, oh, yeah, no, Allah yeah, has yeah, no yeah. son, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yet, here in the Old Testament, the angel of God is the Son of God who they worship and he saves the people of God. So then, not only is your Quran contradicting New Testament, contradicting the Old Testament. So now I got two different sets of books against the witness of one man. You want me to now reject these books for the witness of a man who comes 600 years later and speaks a language that the prophets did not speak? And you really want me to stake my eternal life on him? Come on, man. I don't know. You're smarter than that, dude. I know. You, I, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Well, I hope you understand because let me be honest. You rejecting a Jesus you did not know for a prophet that you think is a true prophet. And if you're wrong, you're, you're going to have. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm going to help. Rethink what you did. Because I can be honest with you. You didn't study your faith long enough to make a decision. This is false Islam. It's true. Because here, you said, oh, uh, Jesus prayed. They won't tell you this, but if you know Arabic, and I hope you study Arabic so you can confirm it. Your God, Allah, prays. That one. Where do you guys get this from? Okay, Chapter wait, wait. two, but you don't read Arabic. Right? Wait, wait, wait. I'll have them read Arabic. So the Bukhara, two one fifty six. Because I heard that that translation. It's not. It's the Arabic word. Ask anyone. Salawat. If he speaks Arabic, ask him. What does salawat mean? Ask him. What does salawat mean? What does salla mean? You should bring that on here. I can't because when I went there, he said. Because this people. is. Because I heard it was a mistake. He said three people. Yeah, like, you, and if I you bring this, if you bring it, like. It's like I can't bring it up, you know why? Because he said three That's people. like one of the biggest contentions I see with There is no condition. It's in the Hadith when, when in Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, now the, on the ayah of 3356, go and study this, please. Go and ask Wait, Imam Khalid. You know what he said? Like, uh -huh. Ibn Kathir, on the exegesis of 3356. There, in Ibn Kathir, he says there's a hadith. They, they asked Moses, does your Lord pray? Allah says, yes, I do pray. And my prayer is my blessing. So he says, yes, I do. But I heard in that verse, it's the blessing. 
That, that the word that the word is a blessing. The word for blessing is barakah. You know, in your prayers, five times a day, you say Allah, Allah, Salli Muhammad, Allah Muhammad, and then you say Allah. Use the word Salli and barakah. You say, Oh Allah, send your Salla on Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, like you sent your Salla upon Ibrahim and his family, right? But, that could but then you say, No, but finish it. Oh Allah, send your blessing upon Muhammad and his family, like you sent it on Ibrahim and his family. In that very prayer, you're using Salla and barakah. They can't mean the same thing. So then barakah means blessing. So what does Salla mean? In that prayer, five times a day, don't you say, Ya Allahumma. No, I'm just talking about it. Okay. You use Salah and you use Barakah. Okay, so Barakah means blessing. What does Salah mean? What does it mean? Oh, it's you can't say Allah send your blessing. I'll have to go through more research on that one. You better because, do it. Because I know, I know there's a back and forth with that one. So I remember there's the, no back and forth. It's supposed to go on ahead. I remember the it's not a I remember I remember the debate with uh, I remember seeing the debate with uh, David Wood and yeah, was it in Istanbul? Yeah, Mohammed, Istanbul no, that one? no, I was in uh, New York. Yeah, yeah. But do you remember what he said? He admitted he goes, Allah prays for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. Allah Salah Muhammad, not to. Okay, good. David, go listen to the debate again. I'll give you a million bucks, and it's on camera. If David said Allah prays to Muhammad, he never said that. He said Allah prays for Muhammad. And what did hijab say? I know I want to give you a free Arabic lesson. Allah prays for, not to. Okay, but he admitted. Allah prays for Muhammad. He admitted. But you guys got so hung up on Allah. He just repeated the kafir. But you were not paying attention. Oh, well, how about Muhammad hijab's mistake? He goes, yeah, yeah, Elijah means God with us. That's what he says in this. See, you guys only want to hear what you want to hear. Wait, does Elijah? I don't think Elijah means that. Of course it doesn't. Mean <laughs> yeah, I think it's Muhammad Ajah. Ha, ha, ha. Elijah means God with us. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's uh, Emmanuel. Yes. He goes, like Elijah, it means God. No, Elijah means my God is John. But you guys were so excited to get David Wood crushed, you were not listening. Anything he said. But I've watched the whole thing, so I have to watch I, I know I have to watch it. But I'm just and saying. Come back to me and tell me. I'll give you even my number. Come back. Yes, he did say Allah, Salah for Muhammad. He says, yes, he does pray for Muhammad. I don't think it's a Oh, yeah. oh let me find the clip. Well, Whose Bible is this? Here? Is this yours? You know, uh, and, uh, I never heard of I don't uh, know. They get kicked out of this stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, they get kicked out. It's a real shame. If, if it's, uh, you can turn it off.